So, um, yeah, man, we just going to jump right into it, man. And the first thing that kind of kind of was on my mind this week is is a team that we had a lot of high hopes for this this season coming into the year. You know, they was on our hot duos list. And I'm talking about the Atlanta Hawks. They 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 have dropped um tremendously and are now in a tie with the Bulls for the ninth seed. Talk about these Atlanta Hawks. What's what's the problem this season? What's going on with these cats? Peace up, A Town down. Man, y'all <laughs> see the jersey, Pistol Pete. Hey, um, we saw we saw when it's, when the season started what was going on. Uh uh, they started out hot. I mean, they were top three. They were really doing their thing. Trey and, and Javante were looking awesome together. Seemed like everything was going great. Then um, they hit a couple of injuries. And then we had the situation with um, Trey missed the game. And um, and Coach came out there and put his business in the streets. And they haven't recovered from that. Um, yeah, it ain't been right since. Yeah. And uh, the one thing I did notice per – um, um, what's my man? Uh, let me pull him up real quick because – uh. I've been really watching that situation, and I'm per Chris Haynes' Bleacher Report. Um, Trey doesn't want to leave because I've been seeing a lot of stuff about maybe trading him, trade packages and stuff like that. But you know, I think they 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 nipped that in the bud. Um, Trey's not going anywhere. But uh, we all we both know it's 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 a it's a race. It's not a you know you know it's not a race. It's a it's a long distance you know um, race. So you know it's it's. it's Everybody's going to have their bumps and their bruises, their ups and downs. I think they're going through a tough time right now. But at the same time, um, it's not looking good. I mean, they, they're they not playing well. You know how sometimes you see stretches. But right now, they just – they don't look like a, a good team. Trey's carrying them. I mean, he has the biggest backpack on his back right now, if you ask me, in the NBA. He is carrying the crap out of that team. Um, what do you think about what's going on, man? Um, Well, for one, like you said, this is it's more of a marathon than a race. Yeah. And um, since this happened, the uh, the coaching situation, we 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 haven't seen the same squad. Yeah. Um, I look at it like this: put yourself in Trey Young's shoes. That man is the king of Atlanta, one of the hottest cities in the country. Would you want to leave? Um, he's a two hundred million dollar player, and in this NBA, the players come first. I think by the end of the year, odd man out is Nate McMillan. I think we are seeing the end of his tenure there. Um, there's too much invested in this team, but yeah. the chemistry is obviously not where it's at. And with the way they're slipping, and you know, we we gonna get into the trade deadline later on in the show. But the way they're slipping, I wouldn't be surprised if they start selling off assets soon. I mean, and let's talk about Nate McMillan for a second because yeah, he's he's been. I remember when he played for the Sonics back in the day. Um, I remember him, you know, ending his career. He didn't, you know, I think he played maybe 10, 11 years, but I remember him jumping right into coaching. And he was one of those young and up and coming coaches that you love to see. He always made teams better. Um, he really brought a lot to the table. Um, I think that that old school way of coaching is going out the window. He's one of those guys. He doesn't have that, yeah. that, um, new wave of coaching and this player relationship that they have now. You know, he's kind of from, cut from the old school Jerry Sloan type of jacket, you know, and I just believe that that, that type of coaching is starting to leave now where you can't be that super tough guy that you're going to just, you know, jump all over the players and say what you want and they just both to, you know, respond. That's not how it works now. You yeah. know, it's a, it's a total different tool. And, and I think he started to lose the air of the team. You know, I mean, it, you see it in their play. Um, but like I said, they're not only losing to good teams, they're losing to bad teams as well. So that's a problem. Um, and that's something that has to change. And like you just said, uh, odd man out is him, especially because of the thing that happened with the uh, letting that business out. I, that's, something that, that's something that shouldn't happen. That's something that him and the player should have had a conversation about and they shouldn't have been able to move on. Uh, but the other big thing um, – from what Lou Williams said, they got the best hot wings. I'm not leaving Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> hot wing Lou. Shout out to hot wing Lou. You know what yeah. I'm saying? On his way back, he had to stop and get that 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 six wing extra crispy with the mouth sauce. You heard me? <laughs> Without a doubt. Without a doubt. But, yeah, you're right. I mean, once you don't have trust with your head coach, you pretty much don't have anything. That's the one person you're supposed to trust above all yeah. on that team. Um so I'm with you on that. And you also said something about uh seems to be losing the ear of the team. If we look back at Nate McMillan's history 
as a coach, that's pretty much how all his tenures ended. Um, started off pretty strong, but he, he it tapered off when he started to lose the ear of the team. And like I remember you said, that in Portland, when you said yeah. that, I remember that happening in Portland before because they, a, yep, same his, thing. That's his track record. So, yeah. so maybe he's one of those coaches that can right only up, get you right about that time. He's one of those coaches that can only get you to a certain. You know what? He's part of that Doug Collins coaching Doug tree. Collins. Like I can only get you this B. far. I can get you here. But once you get here, you got to get on this other bus. That's going to take you to the promised land, <laughs> you know. And that's probably what that is um, with him because it's it's a track record at this point, you know. I mean, Doc Rivers is trying to dodge that at this point. I mean, he only has the one ring, you know. So yeah. it's a few coaches out there that man, they seem to always have good seasons. Then all of a sudden, they just hit this rut where the players aren't listening to them. They're not making the right decisions, and then all of a sudden, it's chaos. So yeah. Yeah, so I, I do think come seasons in, Atlanta's probably going to be the hottest coaching job out there um, for somebody. Yeah. Um, oh, no my, doubt. My early no prediction doubt. is Nate is gone at the end of this year, and he might retire from coaching, period. Um, it's, it might be he time. He made a like, comment. Yeah. He made it. I don't know if you saw last week. Um, he talked about that Sham Saranya report um, and talked about it was a bit inaccurate and people are kind of reaching for things and – He'll reassess at the end of the year if the love is still there. And in my opinion, when you're talking like that, it's you're probably already out, but you don't want him to be right in that report. So you're going to stretch it out a little bit. But if you're already talking about we're going to reassess at the end of the year if the love is still there, it's yeah, probably it's not, not still there. Coach. <laughs> yeah. It's probably not still there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's but, like I mean, with your that's girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Opinion. Say, I mean, I like you, but I got to think about it. No, nah, if you got to think about it, you don't like me no more. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It should, it should be flowing yeah. off the top of the yeah. dome. You should be like, hell no. Hell, I of course. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm standing at ATL. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm exactly. ATL, baby. It's, it's one of the hottest that's, places in America to live. Catch, catch me at Strokers. What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> catch me outside. <laughs> catch me outside, man. I hang out. Yeah, but, uh, you know, I, I think that those guys do deserve – uh, um, better coach. That's a nice young team over there, full of yeah. full of some great young talent. You know that that aren't going anywhere. I mean, a lot of those guys are are, are locked up in um contracts, so it's a great situation for a, a coach looking for a chance to walk in the door and um have a turnkey type of business. You feel me? Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, there's no reason in hell that team should not be locked into the top six. Yeah. I wonder yeah. they like ninth or tenth right now, something yeah, like they, that. They they tied with nine. They tied at nine with Chicago. Yeah, and, yeah, see, and yeah, and that's, that's that, and, and that's, that's not their talent. They have way better talent than that. Um, and we both we both agreed that putting you know Dante and um, Trey together was going to be a serious serious situation, and and it has been. They've had some great nights, but um, like you said, um, once they start to lose the ear, the coach, you know, the team can only carry them so far. Coach got to yeah. make some great decisions to win. Yeah, without a doubt, and um. I w also wouldn't be surprised to see John Collins if if they move on from him before the deadline. His name has popped up a lot over the last couple Always of years. Always, though. Yeah, it seems like his name is the hottest name when it comes to conversations with guys that can be moved. I see his name so much, but he never goes anywhere. So I want to see if something's going to happen because I've been seeing some different reports of destinations he can go, including Chicago. <laughs> Let's, do that, so. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. I take take this shit off and throw it out. Hey, <laughs> but, Bulls hat on. But, but like you always tell me, okay, if we take him, what we giving up? Yeah, if and Chicago that's the, takes and that's him. The what you gonna give up? And that's you the know? problem because he's got a big contract. So, I mean, you got to match salaries. And now oh, you talking I'm, about if I'm Atlanta, I'm doing. I'm giving everybody the KD treatment. Okay, I need uh. Your whole roster and I need a child. <laughs> like, if you're you Chicago, know. if you're getting John Collins, that's probably going to cost you Vooch. And Vooch is kind of playing really well now. Vooch is starting to play a little better. And it, and it's not a lot of really good centers in the league right now. So, But, I, I mean, the thing about the Hawks, um, they are a young team that I think overplayed their talent last year. Last couple of years, they've been right there, really playing well. Nobody thought they would be that good. A lot of people really used to – argue about was Trey or Doncic the better pick. You know, I think it's a wash right now. Points, I think Trey's at 8,000, Luca's at 8,100, you know, so people kind of shade on Trey a little bit, but Trey is the truth. Yeah. <laughs> Serious, man. Like, people need to put some respect on that kid's name. Um, and uh, Coach needs to get himself together because if he doesn't, he's going to lose that opportunity. And, um, hey, no matter what, those, I think they're going to be fine in that line once they make a decision because Nate, Nate isn't bringing the fire he used to bring.
Yeah, yeah. I think that's going to be a change this off season. And I, you know, this is just off the top of my head. I haven't heard any reports or anything, but name that I will be watching, Emmy Udoka. Mm. Let's make that happen. Ooh. Let's I make that happen. Forgot about him. He kind of slipped under the radar. It's been quiet because the it's the league well, has been so great that you haven't talked about him at all. Yeah, He's kind of been that. We don't know what Boston is going to do. You know, his uh, suspension is indefinite. By that, there's no defined term. So he could be out for the year and come back, or they could just let him go. And they've been so successful this year with Joe Mazzula, they might just let him go. And, and when somebody wanted him, they would have to trade him because he's still on the contract with them, right? Theoretically, yes. But when the rumors came out about uh, Brooklyn earlier in the season, so supposedly they were willing to let him go for nothing. So it just mm. depends on that Situation. relationship and how they value him. Hey, that's a, that's something to be watching out for. Imagine uh, Madoka with Atlanta, man. That, to me, that that seems like a wonderful marriage. Oh right man, oh I'm man, that. that would that actually would work. Young I'm, young I'm coach would chip on his shoulder. Young team, that man, that would that would, I think he would bring the best out of those guys. So that's 100%. something to be looking out for. I'm gonna keep that on my radar now. One hundred percent. Yes, sir. So yeah, um, here's looking at the Atlanta Hawks. Hopefully, y'all get your shit together. <laughs>